101 ESPN.com presents the Redbird Report. Lately, you have seen with Tony La Russa, Ryan Ludwig has been hitting second in the order most of the time. Tony said to us in the media that really with him talking with a lot of his other guys and his coaching staff, they believe that the offense looks best, the lineup looks optimal with Ryan Ludwig hitting two because of all the things that he does, but more importantly, how it relates to the rest of the order. It's not just where someone fits best based on the types of things they do, who's more of a leadoff guy, who's more of a power guy, and when you put someone at the beginning and when you put somebody in the middle of the order. The way the Cardinals lineup is set up, it's very tricky because they only have two everyday left-handed hitters in Skip Schumacher and Colby Rasmus. All things being equal, and Tony would even admit this, Colby Rasmus is the ideal person to hit number two in a Tony La Russa lineup because he's got excellent speed, he can score from first base on a double by Albert, he can score from second certainly on a single, but he can also steal base and he can also really hurt you with the long ball. He's got a lot of potential to hit some home runs. And then he's got the excellent speed. He's an on-base type of guy. The problem is with that, with Skip Schumacher and Colby Rasmus as your only two lefties, Tony does not want to stack those guys 1-2 in the lineup because late in the game in the 7th or 8th inning, a team can throw a left-handed specialist like their version of Trevor Miller or Dennis Reyes and they can just go right through Skip Schumacher and Colby Rasmus and then go on and have nothing but righties the rest of the way. So the reason is to drop Colby to number 5 or six, which is probably where he fits best based on all the things that he has been able to do offensively and showing that patience at the plate, showing his power, and just being a more advanced player this year. In order to get a righty number two, at the beginning of the season, Tony had been going with Brendan Ryan because of his speed and the fact that he can get on base, but also because Tony wanted both Colby Rasmus and Ludwig hitting fifth and sixth with Yadier Molina most likely hitting seventh and then David Freeze hitting eighth. Well, the problem is Brendan Ryan has gotten off to a very slow start offensively and the way to get your best hitters at the top of the lineup, because every single time it goes eight, nine to the pitcher and then back to the top of the order and you're trying to get it to Albert, who do you want hitting after Skip Schumacher? You want Brendan Ryan or do you want Ryan Ludwig? That's the thing. Ryan Ludwig has always been statistically a very good hitter with the Cardinals in the number two spot in the order. And it makes sense because teams don't want to walk the person hitting two to get to Albert at number three. So you're going to get much better pitches to hit. So statistically, Ryan Ludwig is very good in that two spot. He's got immense power. He can really hurt you if you make a mistake right down the middle of the plate. He's a righty, so you break up those lefties in Schumacher and Rasmus. And then he's got very good patience at the plate. He can take a walk and he can be somebody that gets on base and he's not going to chase pitches out of the zone. So all in all, with Tony right now, and Things can change based on who's playing well and who is not. Tony is falling in love with the, quote, A lineup of Schumacher 1, Ludwig 2, Pujols 3, Holiday 4, Rasmus 5, Molina or Free 6 or 7 based on a pitching matchup and who's going better. And he likes Brendan Ryan hitting 8. Because he's got that speed, he can get on in front of the pitcher, turn the lineup over, and get and extend an inning to the pitcher and not have to end an inning at the number eight spot in the order. And then that way he breaks up the lefties, you get your on-base guys to the top, you get your power guys more in the middle, and that's the way, as of right now, Tony likes his lineup being set. But as I said, anything can change based on who's going well and who is not. <laughs>